Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Kiri Engine. Kiri Engine is an amazing mobile app for both Android and iOS. Now, the idea for Kiri Engine is to allow users everywhere, regardless of the platform that you're using, in terms of your mobile operating system, to capture your environment and objects and convert these things to 3D models. Now, it's quite impressive to see that there is a tool that caters to Android users, as we've covered lots of tools that have been exclusive to iOS. Now, the way Kiri Engine works is super impressive, and for anyone who would like to try this, you can simply go over to the Play Store or the App Store and download this tool and start working with it. Now, with that said, let's get right into it and talk about this tool, the things you need to know, and how you can start processing your own data and converting this to 3D models. Now, once you download Kiri Engine, you need to register and sign in. It brings you over to your profile page where you can take a couple of quizzes, invite some friends, get some coupons, and also learn how this tool works. Also, notice down here that we have draft, setting, and also about Kiri Engine. Now, the draft section actually deals with things that have not been processed. Then, these things will be pending on your device, depending on when you get an internet connection to upload them to the cloud. Next thing that you notice is a star button, which shows you the favorite tools that the folks at Kiri has actually created for their content creator and you'd notice the plus sign that you can use to capture stuff. Capturing stuff is where the bread and butter of this tool exists and it can be extremely fun. So for example, if you have a couple of images within your library, you can simply upload them right here by using the upload. If you want to capture directly within the tool, you need to click on take photos and that way you can start scanning. And scanning this is super fun as all you need to do is just go around the image and take a couple of pictures. And the more pictures you take, the better. It is also worth knowing that the minimum number of pictures that you need per scan is 20 and the maximum is 200. So if you're using the paid version, you can get up to 200. But if you're using the trial version, you can only take 70 pictures per scan. Now, once you're done with that, you can go over to the model section where you can enter the name of the model that you're taking, select the label of type, and you can choose if you like this to be either OBJ or FBX. The model quality is also something that you can check out. And in certain cases, you might also want to turn on the AI object masking. We simply mask your object outside the background. And once you're ready, you can hit the upload button and this would automatically upload all of what you've done over to the cloud. And then the process of converting this to a 3D model begins. Now, this is going to queue up depending on the number of things that you have going. And one thing to mention is your internet connection is extremely necessary. A faster internet connection will get you your models done really, really quick. So after queuing, this begins to process. And once it's done processing, you can now go in and check your model. Now, if you take a look at the models that we've taken, you can see what they look like on both the Android and also the iOS device. And these look pretty, pretty nice. Now, some things to keep in mind is this, that if you would like to export these things, you can simply hit the share button and this would simply give you a link where you can download the model. These links are active for one hour and they are not restricted by the number of people that gets to download it which is also a very nice thing. Depending on the model type you selected within the time you're uploading your files for processing, that is the model that you get. You can now bring this into any DCC app of your choice and start tweaking this to get some very interesting results. There is no limit to the kind of things that you can do with this. So for example, if you're working in ZBrush, you can use all of the necessary tools that are available in ZBrush to get things happening. And if you're working in Blender, you can also try to decimate this and polish the 3D model to look exactly like what you would like to get and also use for your project. Now let's talk about some of the things that you need to keep in mind when capturing with Kiri Engine. Kiri Engine is an amazing tool to capture stuff, but there's a couple of things to remember every single time you would like to capture. The very first one is lighting. Lighting is extremely important if you like to get the best quality when capturing. So if you take a look at these two models, you would notice that we have something that is sort of different. First, we don't have a proper lighting happening here in the first scene. And you'd also notice that we don't take enough picture. And this is what the result would look like, contrary to what we have here, where we took a good number of pictures and we have a proper normal lighting going on. And for the most part, this just simply works and it makes sense. Kiri Engine is so cool because unlike some of the other tools that we've looked at, that doesn't really support capturing small objects like toys and also, you know, capturing larger objects as well. Kiri Engine creates a fine balance between capturing smaller objects and also capturing bigger objects. And it's just very interesting to see that this tool is available for both Android and iOS. And it is one of those tools that you would definitely want to take a look at, regardless of the platform that you are working with. 
So this is more like it. For those who like to test out Kiri Engine, then of course you can simply go over to the Play Store and download this for your Android device and start 3D scanning today. And of course, if you're coming from iOS, you can also take a look at Kiri Engine and start using this beautiful tool to create some amazing masterpiece for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.